What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to my series of sampling samples. Today I'm going to be sampling from Mr. Andy Tower um, and his series of Towerville. I haven't spoken about this Towerville uh, brand of his um, on my channel so I can't wait to talk about it a little bit and today uh, one of my favorite notes of all time if I had a top 10 list Incense would be in it. So this is incense flash. This is where I'm starting. I'm starting with what I like. Why not? I'm not gonna go with rose or vanilla um, Which are the other two that uh, started this uh, Flash line so incense flash by Towerville. That's the name of it, it was released in 2015 um, it is the third Towerville fragrance in the lineup, uh, right after the rose and the vanilla, of course. So, Andy Tower, huge, huge fan of his line. I got two of my favorites right beside me, right here. I got Louds des Armaroquins. Okay? Mm, beauty. And, of course, a classic. Um, this is what Mr. Andy Tower is known for. So, if you don't know Mr. Andy Tower, Louds des Armaroquins. Okay? You got to smell it. Next is Lone Star Memories. This this guy, who 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 who, maybe my favorite from him uh, of all time. Anyway, going back to this guy right here. Big notes in this fragrance. Incense, duh. Let, let's hope so. Woods and leather. So let's see what kind of woods. Let's see if this nose can dissect if there's uh, what kind of woods in here and leather. So very nice, very dark from what I see here. Incense, woods and leather. So my thoughts on this particular fragrance. Well, when I first applied it. Whew, she is resinous, <laughs> resinous. She's dry, she's smoky, and is an absolute beast of an incense-based fragrance with a pinch of tower dustiness that he's he's known for. If you know Louds des Armes okay, the bestseller from the brand, you know that dustiness that I'm talking about. Um, it really does make me reminisce of his past incense. The incense that he uses in his fragrances. Um, that's what it reminds me of. Now, it went from really a complex scent here in the introduction to more of a linear leathery scent uh, with some woods, cedar, some pine, and a little touch of incense here. The incense started being a secondary note. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? What happened to my incense? It was going hard out the gate, I'll be honest with you. It did. It hit my nose, it punched it, and I'm like, oh, this is total Andy Tower. I love it. I can't wait. Um, but it's smoothed out quite a bit more into the dry down. It's a lot easier to tolerate, especially people that uh, think this is going to be um, really complex, dark, and, and you know, something that uh, they might not like. Um, this is one of those fragrances that actually smoothed out quite a bit in the dry down. As an incense-based scent, it has an airy take to the scent a little bit. It, it, it almost feels like it has some some little, um, I don't want to say it's missing something, but it seems like it's not as thick as I thought it would be. It's a little airy, and it's a, a little more of a simpler composition than, of course, these two right here, Lied, and, of course, uh, Lone Star Memories. So don't expect that kind of composition. But again, look at the price that you're going to be paying for this, which is what I'm going to get into next after a few here. Um, so the staying power on my skin, not too shabby, six to eight hours, not not too bad. Um, decent projection, I would say average, maybe a little less than average as far as projection goes. So um, it doesn't have that throw that again, I uh, go back to those two suckers. Um, it doesn't. Good and bad things about this fragrance. Well, uh, some bad things, it may be a little linear to some. It, it came out with fireworks and I was like, ooh, complexity, ooh, nice, nice, nice. And then it kind of went, oh, it, it really smoothed out. Not that that's a bad thing, but it, it can come out as linear to some. Um, I would highly recommend this guy right here, Incense uh, Series from Comme des Garçons Avignon here. Um, this stuff is uh, Probably one of the best bang for your buck niche based fragrances. Um, this thing, as far as the incense based scent, um, I can't. I have a full fledged review on this. If this is your first time um, seeing this this bottle, this is uh, of course Avignon. This is what incense based fragrances. Uh, <laughs> if you're looking for something that has some complexity to it, that is. Uh, it's a little more pricey, but it has that complexity to keep me entertained. And then this one right here, the Incense Flash. Um, this one, Incense Flash, is priced accordingly. Um, I really think from what you're getting um, is a stripped down, really Andy Tower, you know, this, you're getting that a little stripped down, 
but you're getting it priced accordingly to what you're getting. So it's actually priced fairly well. Um, talking about pricing, $63, uh, <laughs> 363 for 30 mils. Um, it is eau de parfum concentration, so concentration uh, EDP, not too bad, um, but uh, not a bad price here. Overall score uh, going from, uh, of course, one to 10, I would have to give uh, Incense Flash by Towerville seven bottles out of 10. And that goes to my final take, is this a buy, try, or pass? Um, this is a definite try. Um, it's worth a sample for incense lovers, but it isn't a game changer. It is a very much a simple incense. And if you are really th thick into the things, pun intended, uh, in incense-based uh, fragrances like I am, um, you, don't, you don't even want to know how many incense-based fragrances I own in my collection. Now, you'd slap me silly. Um, but <laughs> I love incense. Um, so uh, for me, I, um, you know, straightforward incense is nice, but the complexity of other things in uh, the game um, really gives me, like something like this paints me a freaking picture. Um, it really does. And for extra couple bucks, I'd rather go with this guy right here, to be quite honest. And that's just my honest take on this fragrance. So to all of you out there that are watching this, you know, I love to hear your take, comment below as always. Have you smelt incense flash? Let us know good or bad. You know, you can agree or disagree with me. As, as always, I love to hear your take. Maybe I'm missing something. Again, it's just from a little sample. So uh, this is not an end all be all of, you know, I might return to this fragrance and you might see this fragrance in my collection someday. You never know. Um, also the flash series. Let me know what you guys think in the comments too. Um, should I look at the other ones? Vanilla maybe, uh, rose maybe, um, what you think. I know what I'm getting from these stripped down fragrances and maybe I'm being a little too harsh because I came, that's what I'm expecting and kinda, Andy Tower kinda gave it to me. But um, I think something like this, uh, much better. That, that's all, that's all I'm saying. So thanks for watching guys, have a good one.